Whether you're on the way to work, running errands, or driving the kids around, getting a flat tire can quickly put a major speed bump in your day. Changing a flat tire is dirty hard work, and quite frankly, can be challenging. That's why Kia offers the Tire Mobility Kit, a quick and easy way to get you back on the road and to your Kia dealership to repair or replace the tire. This little guy here takes the place of a spare tire, a lug wrench, a jack, and a whole lot of aggravation. So let me show you the components of the Tire Mobility Kit. How to fill a punctured tire with sealant and air how long to drive the vehicle to distribute the sealant, and how to check and adjust the tire pressure afterward so you can safely drive the vehicle to your Kia dealership. Plus, get the kids to their play dates, the errands done, and even to work on time. But first things first, always find a safe place to pull over where you can work on your flat tire. Turn on the emergency flashers, make sure the road behind you is clear, and pull to a safe, flat area. Now, also important to remember, the tire mobility kit will work for punctures in the tire's tread of about a quarter inch, or six millimeters. Any larger than that, or if the damage is to the sidewall, then this kit probably won't do the trick, and you'll have to call roadside assistance. If you see the nail or object that punctured the tire, do not remove it. I'll tell you why in just a little bit. Now, the kit itself consists of a sealant canister, which is good for one inflation. The compressor, and tucked in the back of the compressor, is the compressor hose and the extension cord for the 12-volt power outlet. It's long enough to reach a power outlet in your vehicle and get to any of the four tires. Now to get started, remove the sticker from the sealant canister and place it somewhere you can see it on the vehicle, like on the steering wheel or dash to remind you to drive at the safe speed limit listed on it until you have the tire replaced or repaired. You'll notice there's an expiration date on the sealant canister here with the year listed first and then the month. Check that this yellow button is not depressed. This can be used to reduce tire pressure. On kits where the pressure gauge is attached to the compressor hose, make sure the screw cap here is tightened. This may be used to reduce tire pressure and needs to be closed at this point. The first connection is the compressor hose to the sealant canister. Now twist the cap off of the valve stem of the deflated tire. Now connect the hose from the sealant canister to the valve stem. Insert the canister on the compressor. At this point, you want to make sure the compressor is switched to off or the O position. Take the extension cord and plug it into the power outlet in the vehicle and turn the ignition on. Switch on the compressor like this and let it run for approximately five to seven minutes until the tire pressure reaches 35 PSI, not exceeding seven minutes. What's happening now is that the canister is emptying the sealant into the tire and the compressor is filling the tire with enough air so that you can drive it. Now turn the compressor off. If after seven minutes the tire pressure is below 29 PSI, the puncture is too large to seal. Call Kia Roadside Assistance in this case. Unscrew the hose from the tire's valve stem, and then unscrew the canister from the compressor hose. Then screw the hose from the sealant canister back where the compressor hose was. This will keep any remaining sealant from leaking out. Then place the kit back in the vehicle. Now drive the vehicle for four to six miles or approximately 10 minutes at speeds between 12 and 50 miles an hour. Here's why. As you're driving, the sealant is distributed throughout the tire. The movement of the tire and friction causes the sealant to solidify, plugging up the puncture to create a reliable seal. The sealant is liquid at first, but friction causes it to become more solid. That's why it's important, as I mentioned earlier, that if you should notice a nail or similar sticking out of the affected tire, do not remove it. The sealant will fill in the puncture hole around the object and effectively seal the puncture. Now take the kit's compressor back to the affected tire and hook up the compressor hose directly to the tire's valve stem. Reattach the power cable to the power outlet in the vehicle and turn the ignition on. Check the gauge to see if the tire has the proper PSI. You can find that information on the tire and loading label right inside the driver's door. 
On kits where the gauge is located on the compressor itself, you can deflate the tire if the pressure is a little high to the proper PSI by pressing this button. Or loosen the screw cap on the compressor hose on kits where the gauge is attached to the hose. If the pressure is too low, turn the compressor on to inflate the tire. Turn the compressor off when checking the tire pressure for an accurate reading. That's it. Now you can drive your vehicle to your Kia dealership and have them inspect the tire for you. It would also be a good time to get a new sealant canister, as they're only good for one use each. The tire mobility kit is not only easy and safe to use, but it increases the fuel economy of your Kia. That's because there's no heavy spare tire or jack, so it reduces the weight of the vehicle. And you don't have to get your hands dirty. <laughs> to help you get better acquainted with these and other features, always check your owner's manual for complete operating information and safety warnings.